only on 41 Action News, we are getting first-hand accounts of some of the secrets of Union Station. Its haunted history has been somewhat under wraps until now. Union Station was completed in 1914. During World War II, an estimated one million travelers passed through these doors. There's so much history here and so many, so many things that have happened. You know, a lot of people have said farewell for the last time to their loved ones over a over hundred years. So, I mean, it's intriguing. In that time, there have been multiple stories of deaths in and around Union Station. It closed in the 1980s and sat empty until 1994 when the restoration started. Photo historian Roy Inman spent many late nights inside a dark and mostly empty Union Station. He shared some of his own ghost stories. Marching towards this sound, footsteps still coming towards us. And then they stop. And another time when a woman cleaning the floors ran to him. She said, very agitated and excited, say, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And I said, what, what? Oh, oh, oh. Well, it was, it was this sudden rush of feet, really loud noise and people talking and babies crying and train whistles and, and, and conductors yelling all aboard, I wish, and then it lasts three or four seconds and then it was gone. I said, oh, we've heard that before. Pay it no mind, it won't hurt you. Over the years, other employees have reported seeing and hearing strange things. I know for a fact that there's stuff up here. I've heard disenchanted voices, I've heard footsteps, and uh, you know, people might say I'm crazy, but one time I actually seen a full body apparition. I've got goosebumps once or twice, but I've never felt something malevolent here. One of them is the persistent story of a lady in white. And she many times appears as a, a a reflection in a glass door, a reflection off of a wall, and you turn around and there's nothing there. Inman also says multiple people have described seeing the same well-dressed man standing under the clock. He's wearing spats, a top hat, and carries a walking stick, clearly from another time. He created this picture to give you an idea. You look at him and encounter him and, and ask, hello, may I help you? And he looks straight at them, tips his hat, and disappears. Hmm. Okay, I, what? All this talk of snow, we, we're forgetting that tomorrow is still Halloween. It's still spook season. There's also reports that the ghost of gangster Frank Nash can still be found wandering around the front doors where he died in a shootout in 1933. We were talking about just all the history that has happened in this sure. city there. I mean, that's where my great grandpa left for the war, all kinds of stuff. All we that had to say there seen. was the woman in white and she went, nope. Nope. <laughs> wow. Interesting. That was, yep. that was Taylor, by the way. In you know, story. just saying. It's spooky boys.